a state university or Penn State or PSU, depending on who you're talking to, is nestled in the beautiful mountains of central Pennsylvania, which are still beautiful, a uh, beautiful setting even despite a cold and windy day. And it's in a place called State College. But around here, many folks refer to this area as Happy Valley, and it's pretty apparent from our looks around campus that it is certainly a happy place to be. But inside this building behind me, the Pagula Ice Arena, there's only one name for this place, and that's Hockey Valley. Well, we wanted to build a great foundation that matches the values of Penn State, and obviously hard work and fun and excitement, and we've done that, but I think a big part of just our program in general has been the support and the atmosphere in this building. It's it's absolutely incredible. And when you get recruits that come down and they and they see it and they feel it, they really want to be a part of it. And then so do we. Every time we step on the bench and we see the student section, feel what feel what happens in this arena, uh, it keeps you coming back. Before the Pagula Ice Arena opened in 2013, the university relied on its 1,300-seat Penn State Ice Pavilion for hockey, which was a club sport at the time. But thanks in a big part to a $100 million donation from Kim and Terry Pagula, the university was able to construct this beautiful 6,000-seat multipurpose arena and also begin the men's and women's ice hockey varsity programs here at Penn State. Terry and Kim Pagula have been extremely kind to us and, and they built just an amazing building with everything for the student to support the student athlete but also to support an amazing atmosphere and um, it's we're, we're extremely fortunate we know it we try not to take it for granted um, but it is absolutely beautiful and I can tell you coming to work every day I can speak for the staff as well as the players when we come in we don't take this for granted we know how lucky we are. so much obviously from a club program uh, to where we are now and we've watched the student section come along with us and uh, the songs have been getting better the choreography has been getting better and it's been really fun to see and we're doing it all together I'm a Canadian myself and uh, grew up in Edmonton in a time when the Oilers were flying and, and that's how you fall in love with hockey, not only the product on the ice but what you see in the arenas and that's sort of what's happening in college hockey. There's so much passion and support for this game, so much excitement in the arena and in college hockey you play two games a week and so those games are flying. It's a lot more like playoffs from day one in college hockey than I think any other league and because of that the excitement and intensity level is through the roof every night and it makes for just, it, it makes for great hockey hockey and it makes for great excitement and it makes for a great quality and level of hockey. It's fun to be a part of it because it's a whole community and just being a part of it I really love being that. Oh, it's, I love the student section. It's great to just be around them because I know they hear us and 
they respond to us and we go down in the second period a lot to uh, play a song called Do What You Wanna and they always dance to it and it's always fun and they, I, we feel like they enjoy us being there and we enjoy being here. Just watching the games, being a part of it um, and just being part of the environment is what I love. The environment is top notch. It's been really fulfilling because it's taken so many people, not just the players on the team or the staff, but really, again, the student section has come along right with us. And right from day one, they were really good, but now they're amazing. Not only are we getting more and more hockey players from all over the world come to college hockey, but also the NHL is taking more and more of them. And so uh, the, the level of quality of college hockey has, has risen every year for I don't know how many years now, and it just keeps going. At the end of the, their time at college, they're bigger, stronger, faster, for sure. That's one of the reasons. And I think the other thing is that, as we talked about, the games are only two a week, and so every game is extremely intense and playoff-like, and I think it raises their level of, of tempo of the game. Um, I know that just talking from NHL teams, that, that college kids, when they come right from the season, they're ready to play at a really high pace and a very intense level, and I think that's a really good thing. Coach Guy Godowski is not only proud of Penn State ice hockey's success in recent years, but also the fact that for the third consecutive year, Penn State will play host to the NCAA Tournament Midwest Regional, a qualifying weekend for the Frozen Four. Because I think a lot of people around the nation have been watching Penn State to see how how they take to hockey, and I think that's a perfect example, being, being able to be at a national level and make the tournament and then host the tournament and have great turnouts in Allentown. I mean, it's been really great for hockey in this area, but I think it says something about how Penn State and Pennsylvania has taken to hockey as well. Uh, you know, it's interesting because you talked about players coming from the non-traditional hockey areas of the states and, and how much they've grown, and I don't know where Pennsylvania fits because it's been a great hockey state with the Pens and the Flyers for, for years, and in the American Hockey League, I think Hershey's led in attendance, I don't know how many years in a row, so it's already a great hockey state, but we're also getting a lot of great players that come out of here, and, and with the emergence of Penn State and such a great experience, and, and people People see what happens, how much fun hockey is. I mean, this state, Pennsylvania hockey, is, is doing a great job, and I think it's just going to continue to get better and better.